this looks familiar to you, then it's because this is the first time I'm using the green screen in months. Why I haven't used the green screen in months? Not even I know. But anyway, we're procrastinating, something I'm very well known for. And let's get to the first question. And it's from Stephen Walker Elm M. Florgo. My bad if I said it wrong, dude. Don't hate. What is your opinion on Hasbro and Paramount trying to make a cinematic universe with the Transformers and other Hasbro-owned franchises? That's a very, uh, very good question. I don't think Transformers needs a cinematic universe because it's Autobots versus Decepticons to duke it out for survival and supremacy. I don't really think you need to make it deep and to a point where it's Christopher Nolan-esque, where, you know, it's deep, you know, really philosophical thoughts. It's like, you know, we just want to see Optimus Prime go one-on-one -on -one with Megatron or Galvatron, as he is at the moment. So, I don't see the point. Other people might see some value in some necessary advancement, if you will, but I just think it's unnecessary and asinine. Hope that answers your question. And, oh, it's another one from Stephen Walker. How you doing? Now that Thunderbirds has been confirmed for a second or third season, excuse me. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> what story arcs and rescue scenarios would you like to see? Hmm. I'd love to see an homage episode to End of the Road where we see such a complex rescue maneuver where Thunderbird 1 gets underneath Eddie Hausman's explosive truck, for a lack of a better word, to use as support, where Thunderbird 2 then comes down and gets the grabs and then pulls the car to safety. What else would I like to see? What would I like to see? Because it's trying to think of modern adaptations of some of the best rescues that they haven't done for the new age so it's really difficult to say i'd like to see something similar done to operation crash dive which is where they start exploring the mystery of why all these fire flashes are disappearing with no trace whatsoever and they find out that most of the mechanical equipment has been sabotaged so i'd like to see something done as an ode to that. I'd like to see a Christmas episode as well. I'd like to see a nice nod to Give or Take a Million, which was also their final episode before Thunderbirds 1965, which then brought it up to 35 episodes. So, like I say, Operation Crash Dive, End of the Road, and Give or Take a Million. I'd like to see something similar to that, and in regards to story arcs, I'd like to see Jeff Tracy's inclusion into this new generation of Thunderbirds. We want Jeff back. We miss him. And to the third and final question, and it is the Commander. How are you? Hashtag Aston Knight. When I get a PS Plus, when can I get your ass at Rocket League Biatch? Uh, I don't know. Um... It depends if I come on WWE 2K6, 2K17 and come in as sp as the spine chill MJ Knight and open a can of whoop ass on your sorry ass, dude. <laughs> I kid, I kid. You, you know I got love for you, dude. You know, don't stress it. I don't know is the answer to your question. I, I don't know. I'm more concerned at this point is where is Sonic hanging his hat? For the 25th anniversary game which is speculated and rumored to be on the wire that it's going to be sonic adventure 3. there's no confirmation but all the signs and hints are pointing to the long awaited sequel to 2001's sonic adventure 2. we've been asking for it for 15 years and for the 25th anniversary how apropos would it be to have that one game one game that we've been long asking for. Just saying. Those are your... I'll try that again. Those have been your three questions for this week. You know how the shtick works by now. If you want to leave in a, a question in the comment section below, if this is Dynamic Night, YouTube, or my Facebook page, do so. Or 
tweet a question to my Twitter link in the outro. But until then, ask again. <laughs>